I will never be the same again. I can never return. I close the door. I will walk the path. I'll run the race. And I will never be the same again. Fall like fire, soak like rain. Flow like mighty waters again and again. Sweep away the darkness, burn away the shaft, and let a flame burn to glorify your name. There are higher heights, there are deeper seas. Whatever you need to do, Lord, Lord, do in me. The glory of God fills my life and I will never be the same again. Welcome to New Life in Christ Christian Broadcast. My name is Gerald B. Walton. I'm your host and I'm glad that you are with us this day. Amen. A New Life in Christ Christian Center broadcast is where Jesus Christ is exalted and we bless his holy name. And I like to just give thanks to God for you being with us today. Uh, I believe you're going to be blessed today and uh, we're thankful to have you and I'm here to be a blessing to you, to share the gospel of Jesus Christ and his kingdom to you and your family and friends. So today's prayer that I want to impart to you, and I'm also going to be proclaiming it in my life. So if you like to do the same, you can read along with me. It's in Ephesians chapter one, verse 16. We'll go there. And this is a spoken blessing but I'm going to proclaim it in my life. If you would like to, I would encourage you to do so, but it's a prayer. It's for, it's a prayer for you and your household. And it reads that the God, verse 17, Ephesians one chapter, uh, chapter one, verse 17, it reads as follows that the God of our Lord, Jesus Christ, the father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him, that the eyes of your understanding be enlightened, and that ye may know what is the hope of his calling, and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints, and what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us word, who believe, according to the working of his mighty power, which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in heavenly places. Far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named, not only in this world, but also in that which is to come and had put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of him that filleth all in all. May God bless you with the reading, that prayer reading, and may you receive it and walk in it. Amen. For it's the Father's good pleasure to give us the kingdom. Well, today we have a great message I want to share with you. I believe it's timely. I believe it's uh, current. Um, And then the word of God never changes. Well, today's message is that you must continue in the faith. You must continue in the faith. I must continue in the faith. All God's children must continue in the faith. So this message is is going to encourage you, strengthen you, and give you God's love on this matter. Continue. Amen. So um, 
we'll start with Colossians chapter 1, verse 23. You must continue in the faith. And in Colossians uh, chapter 1, verse 23, it says, If you continue in the faith, grounded and settled, and be not moved away from the hope of the gospel, which ye have heard, and which, and which was preached to every creature which is under heaven, where, whereof I, Paul, am aid a minister. The passage of uh, making mention is continue in the faith. Now, continue has a great significance in a Christian walk or a child of God's work. It has great significance because it deals with the maturity process of you becoming sons and daughters of God. Continue means not to faint, quit, despise, but endure. When you continue, you are experiencing endurance. So you won't faint, you won't quit, you won't despise, but endure. And that has to do with when things come your way, when, when storms or challenges or obstacles come your way. We must continue in faith. You cannot hear enough of God's word because the word of God says faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Let's go to Romans chapter 10, 17. This helps us continue in the faith, the word of God. In Romans 10, verse 17, it reads as follows. It says, so then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. We must hear, which means over and over and over and over so that it can have root and that the word can be grounded in you. But that's how faith comes. Hearing the word of God, hearing from the man or the woman of God who's preaching and teaching the gospel of the kingdom, who is preaching and teaching and elevating and lifting up Jesus Christ, who is the king of the kingdom. So faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And that helps you continue in the faith. Okay? The word of faith is defined as the substance of things hoped for, but the evidence of things not seen. How it comes is by hearing and doing, but first hearing so that you can begin to walk and live by faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. If we go to Romans chapter one, flip over back to Romans chapter one, verse 17. Romans 1, 17. If you have your Bibles, follow along with me. It'll be a blessing to you. In Romans 1, 17, it says, For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. When you're born again, born of God's Spirit, then you come into the newness of Christ and the word of God becomes your food. The word of God becomes what you need to live this new life in Christ. And it's not, I read the Bible one time, two times, three times, because I would ask you the question, what did you learn? Or are you using what you read? And that's being a doer of the word. And all this has to do with continuing in the faith. There are many obstacles in the world today. And that's why we need to become mature in the faith so that we can be better equipped 
so that we can be sound in knowledge and understanding and so we can deal whatever comes our way. And like I said earlier, you can't get enough of God's word. God's word is an everlasting word. Heaven and earth will pass away, but Jesus said, my words will live forever. So it's important for every child of God to continue, not to quit, not to faint, nor to despise, but endure. And uh, <clears throat> I've heard it said uh, uh, in another uh, discussion is that you never, 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 never quit. And I'm here to testify God helps me to never, 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 never quit. Never give up, never faint, never despise, but endure. And we're going to talk about endurance. But when you continue in the faith, you are being persistent. And you are being steadfast. You are being committed you're saying, I'm committed to Christ. I'm united in him. And you are beginning to know who you are in Christ and understand Christ. It is Christ that lives in you. In Galatians 2.20, Paul says it best. He says, I'm crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ that liveth in me. And the life that I live in this flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave his life for me. Amen? So life has everything to do with Christ. And when you continue, God is, is helping you become mature and building his character and building his integrity in your life. And showing you things you knew not of and telling you how much he loves you and you learning to know who he is as you continue in the faith. That's very important for you to know who God is and to have faith in God. Amen. So your character is formed when you continue in the faith and uh, you have the victory. You read the word of God, First uh, John chapter 4, you are overcomers and you have the victory in Christ. So saints, don't quit, don't give up, don't faint, nor, uh, nor waver either. Be steadfast, be unmovable, be grounded, be persistent, be consistent. Amen. You fall down, we get back up. Fall down again, get back up. I know this message is for somebody to encourage you to continue in the faith. And, and the truth of the matter, God has built uh, endurance in you. Are been, you have been made to endure hardness as a soldier of the Lord Jesus Christ. So you've been made to endure. And once the word of God gets in, in, in settled and grounded in you, you overcome and you overcome. And when you overcome and when you overcome, you become mature, you become more stronger, you become more understanding what the will of the Lord is. You become to know who your father is, who is in heaven. Our father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. So the blessing comes when you continue in the faith, when you continue to be steadfast. Let's go to Acts chapter 6 because that's what steadfast means. It means to continue. It means to maintain your position in Christ. It means to stand on that rock and not be moved. But in Acts, let's go to Acts chapter 6 verse 4 where the word continued is, is used to encourage us and lift our spirits up so that we can walk in our ordained assignment and plan of God. Amen. Uh, Acts chapter 6, verse 4, it reads, But we will give ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word. 
So we will continue to give ourselves to prayer and the reading and the ministry of the Word of God. We will continue to pray. The word continues relates to continue to love, continue to walk in love, continue to praise the Lord, continue to, to for a continue in prayer, which we just read. Continue to love, love your neighbor. Love is paramount for us, the love of God. So we must continue to learn and walk in his love and declare what God says in his word for you. Amen. For instance, God has not given us the spirit of fear, but love, power, or power, love, and a sound mind. That's what's been given to you. So you must continue to walk in love. You must continue to walk in power, authority that God has given you. And you must continue to have a sound mind, have self-control, have some restraint, understand boundaries, how far you to go, and understand how to uh, take a dominion over your flesh, subdue and mortify the deeds of your flesh. You must continue. Now, you say, well, this flesh is just too much. Well, that's because there's not enough word of faith in you. Faith is the answer. Growing and increasing your faith, which means continue. If you started, you must continue. Has everything to do with giving you the strength to overcome and to conquer and to overcome and to conquer and to overcome. If you stop reading your Bible, then you're going to get relaxed in the spirit you're going to be settled on your leaves and you give place to the enemy. Once this Christian walk begins, new birth, then we are to press toward the mark of the prize of the high calling, which is in Christ Jesus. We're to behold the Lord and forget the things that are behind us. So continuance for a saint or a child or a believer of God must be done. And um, life is like the similitude of a race. I ran cross country. It was one of the toughest. If I believe it was the toughest sport I ran <laughs> or I participated. But boy, I had a coach and his name was Craig Wallace and he got everything out of me. What do, you, what do I mean by that? He told us to run laps. He told us to run heels. He, he told us to run the course. He told us to run the, uh, the track, you know. He, he, he told us to keep on running. That's, that's what he told us. Because he knew at this uh, sporting event called a track meet, we would be prepared. Likewise, in the spirit, the Bible says that the race is not given to the swift nor the strong, but they that endure to it to the end. And the Bible says that we're to run with patience the race that's set before us. And when you run in patience, you're, you're continuing in the faith. You're continuing in prayer. You're continuing to obey the Lord and love and walk in love. Okay? Because love is greater than fear. Amen? So that's what continuing faith is. And I just want to encourage you today that you must continue in faith. Don't faint because the Bible says uh, if you faint not, then, then you receive a blessing. Be not weary in well-doing for in due season you will weep a blessing. You will weep a harvest. And so I want to encourage you uh, like the word of God says, the race is not given to the swift. It's not given to the strong, but they that endure, they that continue in faith, they that maintain their stand and their position and their unity and their union in Christ because of faith. 
because he who has begun a work in you is faithful to complete it. So I encourage you to continue in the faith. Amen. Continue in love, the, the love of God. Continue to have the faith of Christ. Continue in prayer. Continue doing the ministry of the Lord Jesus Christ. Continue to, to trust in the Lord with all your heart and lead not to your own standing. Acknowledge him in all your ways he'll, and he'll direct your path. Amen. So may you be enriched, encouraged. May you have a blessed day and continue in the faith.